All right, Shalom. First off, want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of the Great Millstone. And this is Sid Shalom to all the Akim out here that are doing and pushing the work in truth and in sincerity. Okay? Uh, title of this video, um, I'm going in on the, um, the phrase, uh, Carpa Diem, okay? Um, believe I'm saying that right. Uh, Carpa Diem. Carpe Diem. Okay. Um, and it says, uh, it is used to urge someone to make the most of the present time and give little thought to the future. Okay. Um, now, going in on this, uh, word okay you have another word uh or phrase people uh say nowadays uh yolo you only live once um and these uh sayings are meant to tell people a hey, live in the moment like as as it said you know and give little thought to the future a lot of women live by this phrase okay and i don't want to you know, necessarily do this woman, uh, I mean, do this, uh, video, my bad, uh, to get on a woman, okay, I want to, um, you know, do this, this video to, you know, um, hopefully edify, okay, now, um, with that said, uh, the word, the, the, the phrase, you know, is used to urge someone to make the most of the present time and give little thought to the future, okay? Now, this is 1 Timothy 5 and 6. It says, But she that lives in pleasure is dead while she liveth, okay? And uh, this is the uh, mentality that a lot of our people, because the men get the... Um, get this uh mindset from the woman okay which the woman gets their mindset from the so-called white man okay and the, the so-called white man um pushes out this vibration to uh live in the moment okay you they they put it on the um on the tv shows you know uh like loving hip-hop and stuff like that uh, guys that are just going all out, you know what I'm saying, uh, spontaneous, and, you know, uh, you even have this, this, um, I don't know what the heck to call her, you know, uh, this chick named, uh, Black China, you know, right now, which is a big thing going on, and, uh, she's going around, uh, you know, pretty much doing, doing whatever the heck she want, you know, um, which that's a good example right now. Um, you had a situation where uh, she almost stole or used uh, her child's father, um, Rob Kardashian, uh, for three hundred thousand dollars. You know, she tried to use his his credit card to buy three hundred thousand dollars worth of jewelry. Okay, and with that, to 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 be able to 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 try to steal some money from somebody for three hundred thousand dollars, you have to be living in pleasure. Okay. Especially if you, you know, trying to use that to get over on people, okay, to steal and everything like that, you know, because you totally forgot that hey, you could, you could end up going to jail for that, you know, you, you, you ruining everybody that you come across, okay, and you putting that poison out there to other people that it's okay to do those things that you're doing, okay, which that's not the mentality that people should be having, man. Okay? Um when you when you uh sit up here and tell our people these things, you know, like we're not supposed to um you know, eat pork crabs and shrimp cuz a lot of the things that people do when they live in pleasure is really, you know, uh sin. Okay? When you tell them that they shouldn't uh eat pork crab shrimp, you know that you know, they, they shouldn't be sleeping with any and everybody, um, that they, you know, need to do what the Lord say ultimately, they don't want to listen, okay, 
um, you have a lot of people that that what which I heard personally, somebody said that you know their grandmother lived to be uh, ninety eight years old. You know while um, while eating pork her whole in, her whole life. You know, and and he was saying that uh, she lived a good life. You know, and everything like that. But here go to what the scripture says. This is Ecclesiastes eight and eleven. Because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily, therefore the hearts of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil. Okay, a lot of our people have that mindset to do evil. Okay, and what's that evil? Not listening and following what the Lord said to do, okay, according to his word. Okay, a lot of our people don't even believe that uh, <clears throat> the, the Lord's word is true, okay? And um, to 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 battle the the um the 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 carpa diem to battle that you have uh you know people that that want to say that you know they they're living life and you know you only got one life and you know you might as well make the most of it. Well, you're not really living here, man. Okay, while people are still under the curses. Okay, um, you still have to go through the so-called white man for everything. Okay, uh, for 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 uh, rent, you know. Uh, even if you was to try to go on a vacation, you still have to come back. You still have to to go to work. Okay, and try to make money for another vacation. Which I don't know how a lot of these people out here be, you know, really going on all these vacations and stuff like that, or. Always wanting to go out all the goddamn time, you know, but that's just the vibration that America puts out, you know, don't even care about uh, tomorrow because tomorrow ain't, isn't promised, you know, to 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 a lot of people. OK, and, um, you know, that's why you have a lot of people that are overweight. OK, um, and, and people that, you know, as, as time goes on, they just. You know, they, they, they live as though that there's tomorrow, no tomorrow, but the tomorrow come. And it's like, yo, you're broke, you know. Uh, you don't have no answer for what you did yesterday, man. Okay? Um, which goes into the word uh, prudent. The word prudent says uh, acting with or sowing care and thought for the future. Okay? It says wise, well-judged sensible so a lot of people out here act like they don't got no goddamn sense man okay it says politic um or politic i don't know i'm not sure which one that is politic or politic uh judicious okay sad sagacious or sad sagacious um sage shrewd advisable well advised okay and how are you well advised because you go back into the scriptures and you say uh, what the scriptures say, man, okay, and um, like I said, you know, a lot of our people, you know, you're, you're not really living over here, man, you know, um, like, for example, you had uh, uh, Jan uh, July the 4th, you know, so-called Independence Day that just walked by, and, and, and we tell our people, you know, our ancestors was, you know, uh, slaved, uh, raped, uh, getting hung on that day, and, you know, people say, oh, I don't care about that. You know, I'm, I'm here today. You know, that, that stuff is in the past. But then when you're going to uh, the present, you know, you're still getting taxed for everything. Okay. You still, uh, you, if you have children, you're still, your children are still being lied to in school. Okay. The, the so-called white man, like I said, you still got to go through them for, for food and for water and stuff like that. And the food and water that they're giving you. It's poison, okay? So you people are pretty much trying to live comfortable comfortable in hell, man, okay? America is hell, okay? We wasn't brought here in America to live it up, you know, to, 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 to uh, enjoy life and everything like that, okay? We'll enjoy life, okay, when the kingdom come, okay? Um, this is Proverbs 14 and 15. The simple believeth every word. But the prudent man looks well to his going, okay? And what is prudent again? Okay, 
acting with or showing care and thought for the future. And this is not saying, okay, we, um, you know, we're, we're stockpiling money or we're stockpiling um, food for, for, for when America collapse, the dollar bill collapse, because the dollar bill is going to collapse, okay? And, and people who, uh, who let act as though, you know, uh, you know, that it doesn't, it, you know, they don't care about whether it collapsed or not. You know, they're not looking uh, forward to it. You know, when that when that uh, collapse comes, a lot of you people are going to be the the, the, the the main ones or the first ones in line for that RFID chip, man. Okay? Which is the uh, mark of the beast. Okay? According to the scriptures. Okay? It says no man shall buy or sell except that person that has that mark. Okay? And a lot of you people that are living in pleasure... Okay, you might have money or, you know, you don't care about tomorrow. You looking for that reset when America resets. Okay. Now, it says the simple believe in every word and carpe diem is used to urge someone to make the most. Okay. So someone is pushing that vibration or that philosophy on you to, uh, to, to uh, live this way. Okay. And people just, you know, eat it up. Okay. Now, where did that uh all start it started with um the serpent and uh eve okay now um the serpent which a lot of people don't understand the serpent is, is the spirit of the so-called white man okay and he went to eve okay and told eve to uh you know well he had a dialogue with eve he didn't feed eve no um no, no apple or whatever. He gave her a uh, philosophy. Okay. It says, uh, and the serpent said unto the woman, you shall surely not die. I mean, you shall, you shall not surely die. Okay. So, um, the things is, the thing is, it says the woman saw that the tree was good for fruit and that it was pleasant to the eyes and the tree desired to, to make one wise. She took of the fruit thereof and did eat and gave also unto her husband he did eat, okay, so this is the philosophy, okay, that you shall surely not die, okay, pretty much if you, you're living in pleasure, okay, you, you defy the Lord's word, and you do what, you know, whatever you please, okay, that's an example of the simple believing in every word, okay, and our women are, you know, are pretty much simple, and a lot of these niggas are simple too, man, okay, uh, and, and they get that vibration from the woman, okay, and from the, uh, so-called, uh, white man, because when you have, with, with these niggas, a lot of, a lot of the things that they do, you know, is revolved around trying to get some, uh, some vagina from women, you know, so niggas will go all out just to try to get some vagina from a woman, you know, and the woman, you know, once that money is gone, you know, see on to the next one, man. Okay, so uh, a, a wise man is going to look well to his going. Okay, um, it's Proverbs 15 and 5. A fool despises his father's instruction. Okay, what's the father's instruction? This word, these scriptures. Okay, people people hate hearing the, the, the word of the Lord. Okay, um, but he that regards reproof is prudent okay and what once again the scripture the, the one of the synonyms for um for prudent is well advised okay then you have uh cautious careful uh provident uh far-sighted judicious shrewd circumspect okay economical thrifty okay and america is not uh economical whatsoever man okay um, it's, they have a, a, a huge, uh, a litter problem, okay, but people want to live here, man, people want to stay here, man, all these goddamn potholes and, you know, uh, the, all the pills and stuff that people are on, man, because they just want to live in the moment, man, okay, for the most part, okay, so a person that, uh, disregards what the Lord says is a fool, okay, um, and, and most likely those people are the people who are living every day as if it's their last, okay? Um, 
This is Proverbs 14 and 8. The wisdom of the prudent is to understand his way, okay, which when you're born on this planet, the main goal is to put the Lord first, man. Always have the Lord in your mindset, you know. That shows that you're moving in the fear of the Lord, okay. Um, it says, but the folly of fools is deceit, okay. And a lot of people are deceiving themselves, man. Thinking that they're uh, serving the Lord when they're not. They're actually serving their own uh, belly, okay. It's just Colossians 2 and 8. Beware lest any man spoil you with through philosophy and vain deceit okay and that man is that serpent okay he's spoiling a lot of our people with this poison okay a lot of our people are spiritually poisoned with with philosophy okay that you know that they're, they're you know they only get one 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 time to live okay and uh you know uh you might as well live it up okay it says after the tradition of men because what do you have people out here doing, man? They they making up things as they go along, okay. Um, uh, it's always something new that they that they think that they're trying to do, but it's it's just the same old thing all over again. It says after the rudiments or rudiments of the world, and not after Yahweh Shah, okay. So the thing is, a man is supposed to tell you. Uh, you know, to follow after you, after the Lord, because America is going to be destroyed, man. Okay, and you have to be prudent. You have to be thinking and, and showing care for the future, because when America is destroyed, okay, the missiles come for you people that live as if you know there's no tomorrow. Okay, when the missiles come, then what? Okay, you're gonna be you're gonna be one of them people that are the fools, man. Because you didn't, you didn't um, listen to the Lord's instruction, okay? But a person that listens to the Lord's instruction is going to be saved from that dis destruction, okay? Um, this is uh, Titus um, 2 and 12. It says, teaching us that, I mean, yeah, teaching us that denying ungodliness, because a lot of y'all people are, are living ungodly, man. And, and worldly lust, you have to deny the ungodliness, the unrighteousness, okay, and the worldly lust. It says we should live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present world, okay? So we're supposed to be living uh, soberly, which, you know, it's not talking about, um, uh, you know, getting drunk, you know. Of course, you don't be no, no goddamn alcoholic and shit, you know. But this is talking about, you know, getting drunk off the philosophies of this world, man. Okay? It says, uh, we should live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present world, looking for that blessed hope and the glorious appearing of the great God, which his name is Yahweh, the Most High, okay, the Father, and our Savior, Yahweh Shah, okay? The one who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Okay, so the ones who are prudent are going to be looking for that, man. And they're going to be living soberly and righteously and godly. We're not telling people that you can't, you know, uh, enjoy life in this society, you know. But you have to be having thought and, and be looking for this, man. A lot of our people aren't looking for this, man. And it shows through their actions, man. Okay? Uh, the, the, the scriptures tell you plainly of what you're supposed to do, man. Okay, and if you don't want to, if, if you can't see it plainly, you know, or you need help, then you go to somebody that knows what the scriptures say, man. Okay, and they're not going to be, be giving you this vain uh, philosophy, man. Okay, deceiving you. Okay, and I got one more scripture. First John 2 and 15. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. Okay, so. We're not supposed to love America. We're not supposed to, Our people are, 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 are too far gone, okay? It says, if any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. And the world passeth away 
which this, like I said, America is going to be destroyed, okay? And um, as the dollar bill is going to collapse. A famine is going to come. Um, you know, I have a lot of diseases out here, which is already got a lot, you know, but it's going to be diseases that, that kill people, man. You're going to have uh, the RFID chip. You know, that's all goes into this world passing away. And then World War Three. okay, the missiles, okay, it says, And the lust thereof, but he that doeth the will of Yahweh by Shem Yahushah abides forever. And the people who do the will of the Lord are the prudent, okay? The ones that, that so care, okay? And, and showing that you care for the future goes hand in hand with fearing the Lord, okay? When If you're a person that's in the, in, in the, in the truth, okay, you're gonna, you show that you care for the Lord by doing what he say. And that's the fear of the Lord, okay? Doing what these scriptures say, okay? And you'll abide forever. You'll live forever. You'll have that everlasting life. And then in the kingdom, we'll be able to enjoy ourselves well beyond what we can enjoy in this society, man, okay? And that's something to wait for, okay? Not here in this, this, this wicked society. Because America, this is, not, this is not our rest, man, okay? This is this is a wicked society, okay? But with that, I want to say shalom. Hopefully, this was edifying.